Thank you. You have been speaking um, that we're not stuck. We just keep repeating the same vibration over and over. We like those words because sometimes it feels like you're stuck. But we say you can't be stuck because everything's always in motion. Things are always changing. So if you feel stuck, it's because they're changing to the same thing. Exactly. And why would something change to the same thing? Because that's what you're talking about. That's what you're thinking about. That's the drum you're beating. So if you want it to change to something different, you got to say different words. You've got to find different feelings. You've got to change the vibration. When you change the vibration, the manifestation changes. But until then, it just keeps changing to the same thing. And we think those are clever words because when you hear it, it's always changing, but it's just changing to the same thing. Don't you know people who it's different faces and different places, but their life just keeps being the same? And it's because they're focusing upon what is so powerfully that they can't let something else in. A lobotomy would help. <laughs> but then there's so much benefit that they would lose at the same time. So we're encouraging just focusing mm -hmm. with a new intent. Focusing rather than intending to fix something that's broken or rather than trying to point out that I was right and you were wrong all along or rather than trying to point out that I was justified in my action or rather than trying to point out that all of those people from my past didn't really know who I was. In other words, you're reaching with new criteria. You're choosing the thought because it feels a little better than the thought that you've been thinking. I want to insert something here, since you bring it up. You don't know that you do, but you do. That is really important to understand. When you reach for a thought that feels a little bit better than the thought that you were thinking, and you don't do it because you're trying to get all the way from over here to over here. There's much greater probability that when you get to there, you'll stabilize and then you can get to there. And when you get to there, you'll stabilize and then you can get to there. And when you get to there, you'll stabilize and then you can get to there. What happens with so many is they try to make the jump all the way to there. And because they don't get it, they don't make the jump. Then they end up back where they began. Where if you're just taking these incremental steps by paying attention to the way you feel then things constantly change to new things. I want to share my life with someone. All right, so when you say that part of my life should be bigger, you mean you should have a relationship? Is that uh -huh. what you mean? Uh -huh. Now, speak appreciation about your life relative to relationship right where it is. Relative to that relationship that you're looking okay. for, right where it is. Uh, I'm deep and open and fun to be with. Uh, well, I all of this is doing is inflaming your... You know, there was, that's what you've okay. been telling the universe for a long time. I shouldn't be alone. I'm better than this. In other words, that's the same thing that's making it change to the same okay. thing over and over again. And okay. you can tell when you start speaking there that it doesn't improve the way you feel, can't you? In other words, didn't that feel familiar it's and yucky? It's more yearning, right. Got it. So keep reaching for something until you feel it sort of break loose and feel better. Uh, I like myself pretty good. And I like knowing that I'm getting ready for something more. And it doesn't have to happen this red-hot minute. I can be patiently impatient as I allow the universe to bring me what's perfect for me. And I'm not even all that sure, really, what is perfect for me. I'm in the process of figuring that out. And I'm happy to figure it out. Doesn't that soothe? Mm -hmm. So now what you've done is you've taken the subject that felt uncomfortable... You've approached it with a singular intent of thinking about it and feeling better while you think about it. You've managed to think about it and feel better while you thought about it. And now you're in a different vibrational place. So now what we would do is we would stay there and beat the drum of this new better feeling place to make sure that we've activated it enough that it will stick around for a while. So now we're sort of on that trail. You offer some words about that and see if you can't shore that vibration up. Can you feel the vibration change? It is a different feeling vibration. Mm -hmm. So now just stay there. 
It's subtle. You'll get really good at this. You'll get really good at feeling, well, that doesn't feel so good. In other words, we're trying to shine light into those lonely corners so that those lonely corners don't exist, you see. And the tendency is, not just with you but almost everybody, you're doing this so that you can jump over there into a relationship. So you're saying, I'm so looking forward to the relationship. And we want you to say, yeah, I'm looking forward to the relationship, but I'm happy now. Sure, I'm looking forward to the relationship, but I'm happy now. You know what two lonely people coming together get when they get together? (laughs) Something a whole lot worse than lonely. (laughs) In other words. And you know what? A secure, satisfied, forward-looking, whole person gets when they come together with another satisfied, forward-looking, joyous, whole person. They get all kinds of adventure and potential and possibilities, you see. So that's what you're wanting to clean up in your vibration. You're like so many who want something that you think you don't have and you keep wanting to jump over there into the having it in order to generate a vibration about having it. And that's fine, but there's a much easier way to go about it. And the easier way to go about letting everything in your life is to be happy now anyway. Jerry and Esther have had the most wonderful summer. They left San Antonio and went to Colorado and spent days in Estes Park, right next to the Rocky Mountain National Forest. And they took walks around Bear Lake, and they had the windows open day and night. It was so delicious. And then they drove over to the West Coast and spent some time in Seattle and took walks along the river and then spent a week on the Alaskan cruise. And each place that they were, they knew there was someplace else wonderful that they were going. And in every place, Esther said, no one can make me go knowing fully that she would be moving on to the next place. But her statement, no one can make me go, is the way she says to the universe, I love where I am, thank you so much. I love where I am, thank you so much. I love where I am, thank you so much. And then they went down to California and spent time in San Francisco and right on the ocean. And Esther said, no one can make me go. No one can make me go, meaning I love where I am. Thank you so much. And then they went to Malibu and spent several days overlooking the Pacific Ocean, windows open day and night. I love where I am. No one can make me go. No one can make me go. And then they went to San Diego. No one can make me go. Now Esther's getting very strong in her statement. No one can make me go. Beginning to feel just a little bit of lack mixed in with the vibration because it has been such a glorious summer. And now they're moving into Arizona (laughs) and into New Mexico and back into Texas. And then Esther said, no one can make me go. And then she said, I love Sedona. And as they drove into Sedona, the light on the mountain more beautiful than they've ever seen it. So cold they had to close the windows at night. And Esther is saying, no one can make me go. No one can make me go. You get in the sense of what we're... In other words, you want to profess to the universe, I'm so in love with what is culminating around me here. Because in that attitude of adoration and appreciation only more good stuff can come. In other words, only good stuff can come to someone who is so in love with their now. But can you feel the difference? Most people are saying, oh, I'm needy of this, and I'm needy of this, and I'm needy of this, and when I get over there, I'll feel so much better. And what is that attitude doing about their now vibration? Their now vibration, which is letting in or not letting in everything. In other words, you cannot have other than your point of attraction. Your point of attraction is where you are. Your point of attraction is where you are and how you feel. So... You gotta, you just gotta find a way no matter what, no matter what the conditions are, no matter what's missing and no matter what's present. You gotta find a way of exaggerating the good stuff and minimizing what doesn't feel good. You gotta find a way of loving where you are so much, not feeling guilty, not feeling lackful, not beating up on yourself, not saying I should have done better, not saying, oh, I'm this many years old, I should be this way, I should have this financial condition, I should have this relationship condition. Baloney, none of that means anything. You're not comparing yourself to anybody else. Who gets to decide who you are? Only you. And your love of where you are now will net you the world, will bring you all good things. One more question about manifesting. Um, There are times when I just have a thought 
and it comes to me instantly. Yes. And there are other times when I focus on something, raise my vibration, see it happening, imaging, and it doesn't come to me. And is that because I'm coming from not having it? Well, when you see it and it comes instantly, it means what you see and how you feel and how you vibrate is already there. But when you are working to raise your vibration right. and it's still not coming, it means there's still something stuck in your craw. And what it always is, is a keener awareness of what is than an awareness of what's coming. And that's why we really want you all to hear this. It will soothe so much and bring so many things that you've been wanting for so long so quickly into your experience. If you can find a way of tweaking your perception into loving where you are anyway... And people worry about that. We'll be very brief here. They are afraid that if they speak appreciation of where they are, that the universe will then say, oh, well, then if you're happy where you are, then it's sort of like if you don't complain about your shoes, your mother won't buy you new ones. And if every day you say to your mother, oh, I love these old scuffed up shoes, then your mother just never buys you any new shoes. And so many of you are afraid that if you feel appreciation for your life as it is with missing pieces, that then the universe will say, well, she's happy. Let's deal with someone more needy and it isn't that way at all you get yourself in vibrational sync and then all good things come to you good time for a segment of refreshment thank you we are